Hello, everybody. My name is Terry Heaton, and I run the channel called Common Terry. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my background because people tell me that I've led an interesting life, and I, I have heard that many, many times. I, and interesting doesn't necessarily mean uh, good. So <clears throat> I have been through many, many things, and I wanted to give you a little basic information so you could understand the depth and meaning of this uh, YouTube channel. So I was uh, born in Grand Rapids, Michigan <clears throat> in 1946. Um, so I lived through <clears throat> the post-war, uh, the post-war baby boom, excuse me. And uh, uh, I, I, I was just there and experienced many things that people of my generation went through, especially the Vietnam War. And, uh, you know, Vietnam did change my life, uh, uh, unfortunately. I was playing the five-string banjo in a bluegrass band with my two brothers at the time, and uh, we played on television every Friday morning on a Big Bud Lindemann show in Grand Rapids, and uh, so I got to be known in my hometown and in my school and uh, around the area as a five-string banjo player. And I was, I got to tell you, I think I was pretty good. Um, Vietnam changed all of that, however, because I got my draft notice. And uh, <clears throat> this was before the lottery. So I got my draft notice and I went to Detroit and uh, did my physical and everything. And uh, got a date when I was supposed to report to the Army, uh, which I got to tell you at the time was a very, a very dangerous thing to think about. So um, I was talking with a, a friend of mine <clears throat> at that time, and his father told me, um, don't you think you would rather be in a branch of the service that provides you with a bed? And I thought about that, and that made a lot of sense. So I went to the uh, the uh, Coast Guard recruiter, uh, and the Coast Guard had a 500-person waiting list. Uh, so, uh, however, the recruiter, <clears throat> excuse me, the recruiter had seen me on TV. So he knew who I was and recognized me, and... Uh, that was life intervening on my behalf uh, noticeably because I was moved to the top of the list and I joined the Coast Guard and spent five years uh, exploring uh, the waters and uh, learning some incredible things about myself. Um, so then I got into uh, uh, amazingly uh, media. I worked at a radio station and then moved to into TV and uh, quickly became a manager um, in the news business. So I spent 28 years in the news business as a media manager, 45 years in total in the media, uh, because I spent a lot of time as a consultant, too. Uh, so I learned a lot that way. And uh, one of the interesting things is that uh, I'm not a natural manager. Uh, and uh, I've been tested that way. And, you know, I always ended up with zeros on management uh, criteria. So uh, I asked the giver of one of these tests why that was. And she revealed that I was in the 99th percentile in terms of intelligence and the 99th percentile in terms of creativity. And she told me that I make games in order to accomplish man management tasks. But it was always awkward for me because management uh, generally meant paperwork, lots of, you know, sitting at a desk and paperwork. And I couldn't stand that. So... I was much more interested in uh, field work, and uh, I became uh, a field producer for magazine shows in Louisville, Kentucky. Anyway, <clears throat> all that time in media, and I studied it and consulted about it. 
<clears throat> and my task at that time was to talk about the future and where things were going. So I created a blog called the, Pro the POMO blog for postmodernism because I had studied and studied and studied postmodernism and uh, I thought that's where we were headed. So I got involved in discussion groups and other things, other ways of uh, sharing uh, wisdom, knowledge, and information. Uh, and that, then I retired. And uh, having, uh, being retired is a great thing. Let me tell you, there is nothing like sleeping in as long as you want. And, uh, and then I began writing and I wrote, I've had published eight books and I have three manuscripts awaiting publication. Uh, and uh, those books, you know, tell a lot of the stuff that I'm trying to uh, relay to you through this uh, YouTube channel. So uh, finding a publisher is a very difficult thing in this day and age, especially, you know, I wrote, I wrote, one of the books I wrote was The Gospel of Self, How Pat Robertson Stole the Soul of the GOP. And that's because I was the executive producer of the 700 Club for five years in the 80s. And uh, that place at that time was just a wonderful place to learn. And I had great minds to sit under and uh, listen to. Uh, I never uh, fully bought into the whole concept, though. And people who know me today know that uh, uh, I have in that book, The Gospel of Self, I apologize for the work that I did in the 80s that created the uh, blight that we have in our country today with Christian nationalism. So I can talk about a lot of different things, but what I want most to do here is to put all of this together so that you can understand where my thinking comes from. And uh, I hope that you'll stick around here um, and uh, subscribe, you know, recommend it to your friends if that's what you want. Uh, I could really use your help that way. So, of course, I always uh, say that I could be wrong about everything because I'm just a commentary. <laughs>